Ladies and gentlemen, the railway bogey is now departing from platform 2. With a sniff and a sneeze, Achoo! Tom sat up in bed. Oh dear, it appears you've a cold, his mum said. Taking his temperature, Tom's mum gave a frown. She'd need to take Tom to the doctor in town. Wrapping Tom up without hesitation, they walked down the road to the railway station. The first train to pull up looked full to the brim, but spotting two seats, they squeezed themselves in. At the next station, unsure on her feet, an old lady got on and Tom offered his seat. Why, thank you, young man, the old lady said. But a bald businessman plonked his bum down instead. Tom's mum then argued, That's not yours to take. My son had stood up for that old lady's sake. But the businessman shrugged, Who really cares? I'm off to the city to sell stocks and shares. Tom's mum shook her head in disgust and defeat and then gave the wobbly old lady her seat. Having found all the protests easy to ignore, the man closed his eyes and started to snore. <laughs> Tom glared at the man who'd been such a lout when a tickle began at the end of Tom's snout. The tickle it grew, and it grew, and it grew. Until it blew up in a mighty... Achoo! A sticky green lump came out like a shot. Some passengers noticed this bullet of snot. It whizzed through the air with no sign of slowing. The man's shiny head was where it was going. Tom glanced at his mum to see if she'd seen, but she hadn't noticed his missile of green. It hit where the man's hair had long since departed, but he didn't wake. He just snuffled, then farted. <coughs> Ever so slowly, Tom took out a tissue, hoping that he could take care of the issue. But just as his hand slid out from his pocket, the train gave a jolt and moved the snot rocket. Quickly Tom's world began to unravel as the slippery object started to travel. As gravity worked on the sleek lump of green, the man rubbed his head where the bogey had been. The people looked on in shock and surprise as the green sticky mess slid past the man's eyes, slipping and sliding to the end of his nose like a green icicle in mid-air it froze. The train hit the brakes, the snot dropped like ripe fruit, onto the collar of the man's pinstripe suit. The man opened one eye as they stopped at the station and Tom shuffled back to a safer location. The man got to his feet and saw the green ooze and thought he had dribbled while having a snooze. He glanced around quickly to check who had seen, but no one acknowledged the globule of green. Wide-eyed Tom watched, hidden from view, as the man dipped his head and slurped up the goo. Oh, it's a bit of a chewy one. When the man left the train, people started to laugh. One woman stifled her mirth with her scarf. One person chuckled, another guffawed. A couple more giggled, and one person roared. Tom's mum didn't know what had tickled the crowd, or why the old lady was laughing out loud. She looked at her son, who gave her a shrug, then the train carried on with a chuff and a chug. <laughs>